For God's sake. I think I provided ample explanation. Ray was otherwise engaged, and taxi policy precludes the transportation of wolves. Come on. Aside from which, we're almost home. The end of the alley, turn right, cross the street, climb the stairs, won't be as snug as bugs in a fire. Not an easy thing to lose a home. No. Your mother and I had a cabin north of Clyde River, burned right to the ground. A kerosene error. My fault. Your mother and I slept in an igloo for four months while I rebuilt it. It was the longest time we spent together. I didn't know that. Oh, you weren't born yet, son. In fact, all that time spent in that igloo sort of started the ball rolling, conceptually. Speaking. But uh, I wouldn't let this get to you. Something good might come from it. It did for me. You know, Dad, all the years you were alive, and now since you've been dead, you never, you never talked like this. You never told me. I didn't tell you about Dirt McGurk? Oh yeah, I, I chased that rat for years. He walked right up to the igloo. Didn't think there was a Mountie inside. Easiest arrest I ever made. Buck up. in your throat. Not yet. Uh, Detective Huey, have you seen Detective Vecchio? You mean Ray? Yes, Ray Vecchio, the detective. Uh, no, the lunchroom, maybe. Ah, thank you kindly. Oh, before I forget, I brought you a little something from the territories. Genuine beluga whalebone. Hmm. What is it? That's a sex sign. What's a sex sign? Well, it's a very handy little device. Let's say, for instance, you're tracking a suspect. You can use this to triangulate your location. Sure, if you find yourself in a vast open territory with no distinguishing landmarks. Yeah. I can see how this can come in real handy in Chicago, Frazier. Glad you like it. 
Elaine. Hey, sir. How was your vacation? Oh, very relaxing. Uh, you haven't seen Detective Vecchio, have you? Uh, Ray Vecchio? Yes, the detective. Uh, no. No, I haven't. He's probably at his desk. Ah. Well, uh, allow me to give you this uh, small gift from the Northwest Territories. Oh. Gee, uh, I don't know what to say. No need to say anything. Just enjoy it. Ah, oh, Lieutenant. Ah, oh, Constable, you returned. Upon reflection, I imagine that pleases me. Well, I hope so, sir. You haven't by any chance seen Detective Vecchio, have you? Um, listen, we're gonna talk. Lieutenant, we got a dust up in interview three, and there's a guy from the IRS says he wants to talk to you. IRS? I listen, Fraser. A couple of things I gotta do, but we have to talk. Ray! Fraser! Buddy! You have a good time up there in the northwest areas? Uh, territories, you mean? Wilderness, huh? Exactly. Me, personally, I leave the city, I come down with this skin condition. Janie, even they thought the Friday night be a great first date. Crystal ballroom, the band, martinis, me. My dog has a foot fungus that needs some attention. All right. Is there a karmic chi love thing happening there or what? I'm sorry, uh, there seems to be some sort of uh, misunderstanding. I'm looking for Ray Vecchio. Huh? I'm Raymond Vecchio, the detective. You talked to Welsh, right? Uh, yes, I did. Good. So we're on the right track. Look, I'm glad you're back, Fraser, because things have not been the same around here. Obviously. And you want to know why? As a matter of fact, yes, I do. Take a look back through history. What do you see? Well, any particular period of history? Nah, the whole shebang. Well, Fraser, you found him. Good. What do you see? Over and over is this. Duets, OK? Hey, Ray, what's up? Jimmy, you owe me a fin from last yeah, week. Yeah, Think yeah. about it. Lennon and McCartney, Leopold and Loeb, the Three Stooges. Strictly speaking, they were a trio, but in my opinion, they should have dropped Larry right from the start, because you could see the guy, he just was not committed to it. Anyway, I think you know what I'm talking about. No, I'm sorry, I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Partners, Fraser. 